What's going on guys? This is my first video on the bathmate. And first, let me just tell you about who I am. I'm not a doctor. <clears throat> um, I'm a 48 year old normal guy. Um, and back in 2010 was when I purchased my first bathmate. I uh, purchased a Hercules and I used that for a short period of time. And then I eventually went to the X30, which is a little bit larger in the base. It was more comfortable. Um, let me start by saying this. I'm done using the bath meat because I've actually achieved my goals. My measurements, when I started, I knew that I wanted to grow in length and girth when I started my journey with PE. Um, so that's why I bought the bath made for girth. I wasn't too keen on the jelking and, and I, I mean, I do do it occasionally and it does help. Um, and it is great, but it's, I'm one of those people. I like the easy way out if it's, if it's doable and this makes it much, much easier. It makes it fun as well. Uh, as you hear people say, as soon as you're done using it, take it off after five, 10, 15 minutes. And you can take your enlarged penis, fat enlarged penis, and bring it into the bedroom and give your girlfriend or wife a great time. Because, uh, again, the gains you get when you take this off are immediate. They last anywhere from 24 to 48 hours, and then eventually you go back to your normal size. And the more you use it, the more you enlarge. So, back to what I was saying, I was about 5 inches in girth. And probably a little bit less than five inches in length so very 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 modest the girth my girth five inches of circumference was was good I never had a problem with that but I knew I wanted more so like I said I started with the 30 then I went to the 40 model and now my current measurements and this is after stretching too please this is not just from the bath mate this is from manual stretching for length and using the bath mate, my girth is now 6.1 directly underneath my head, and then towards the middle and base, closer to six and a half inches of circumference. So that's plenty. I mean, my girlfriend basically has told me to stop. She knows that I do this, uh, these exercises, and she's actually seen and felt the differences in myself in the bedroom. So she actually ordered me <laughs> to stop because it doesn't need to be any fatter. Once, once, once you get to six inches in girth and, and above, it's some experience. Let me just say that big, big difference in the bedroom from five inches in circumference to six, six and a quarter, whatever it may be average. So yes, the bottom line is it works. It's just a matter of if you have the time, which only takes about five, 10 or 15 minutes a day to do. And Again, what your beginning measurements are and what you want to become. Gaining girth was much easier for me personally than gaining length. Uh, but again, this video is about bath made and, and girth. Bottom line, it works. Is it worth it? Yeah, it depends. It depends on how bad you want to be thicker and bigger. Uh, pricing, I'm not even sure. I know these models here aren't even made anymore well they change the names of these models so uh but it's definitely worth it if you have any questions feel free put them in the comments i have no problem getting back to you anybody who has a question about these pumps um i put a link in the description as well directly to the official bathmate site be, be careful when you do search on the internet there are a lot of uh fakes out there they even say bathmate on them but they're uh, counterfeits, so to speak. So that's it, guys. Like I said, please subscribe, like, and comment. Tell me what you want to see next. I wanted to just add to my experience. I don't think I explained it earlier in the video. I started in 2010 with the Bathmate. Um, and... Like most people, when you read about it, I didn't stick with it on a daily basis. I used it a couple of times and I put it away. 
so on and so forth. And even with you know length exercises, which I'm going to make a completely different video about. Same thing. I was kind of sporadic. Not until 2016, pretty much the beginning of 2016. Today is January 2019. So back in 2016 is when I said, you know what? I wanted to take it serious. I wanted to gain length and girth. I was now single, so this is what prompted me to do it. Um, so I wanted to add that. So 2010 is when I started. 2016 is when I really started hitting it hard and saying, making the commitment, just saying I want it. So I wanted to add that to the video. It didn't take me eight years to gain an inch, inch and a quarter of girth, no. Uh, if you want to take from 2016 until now, you know, again, didn't do it every day. I do have a written log of every time I used my bathmates and which ones and even what I did before, what I did after. So I will make another video talking about that. But I just wanted to let you know that that was my time frame of when I bought these and when I saw gains and so on and so forth. So from 2016 up until now, um, or just recently, um, is when I got most of my gains. My current measurements now, length 6.2, fully erect, and then and, and measuring the proper way, which is non-bone pressed erect length meaning just right at the base of the penis to the top is where the measurement is made and i'm 6.2 in length and 6.2 6.1 in girth um and that's basically it i wanted to add that before i finish the video so you guys have some some sort of timeline but like i said i will make another video and i will tell you actually how many hours and minutes uh that i wore the bathmate and how many days I actually had to put in to gain what I gained. I will do that. Okay, guys, thanks again. I appreciate it.